Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look at this beautiful lake. The way for it. Beautiful skyline. We were so good this morning in getting up. Kids did good sleeping this morning. Sarah was able to get up, get a ride on the Peloton. So when she was done and showered and good, because um, Teddy or James was awake at that point, then she hung out with James. So I've popped on the laces. Now I'm out getting a quick 5 k So happy Saturday, everybody. Jamesy's at Halloween Jammies arrived. He saw them and said, wow. And started tugging on his clothes to take them off and put them on. Aren't they so cute? <gasps> Shoo. You want to go outside? Teddy is asleep. But once Teddy's awake, we can go outside, okay? Okay, he's also asked to put Teddy's hat on. <sighs> Goodness. I wish, I wish we could, honey. One, once Teddy wakes up, okay? So that was, that was the first time that James has ever showed interest in his, like, clothing. Like, what he's put, what he has on him. Seeing those pajamas and being, like, pumped and wanting them on him. Like, I feel like that's such, like, a simple thing. That like is just shows like next level maturity of his wants and I don't know. I that just caught me off guard. It was so sweet. I am all showered and ready to go. I mean I'm not ready for the day, but after my Peloton ride this morning, I did the Hamilton ride. A lot of people recommended it and it's been my favorite ride so far. Um a lot of good just like a lot of good variety. I know, and plus the music and her energy was just awesome. And Peter is on his run now. I don't know what we're doing beforehand, but we have a housewarming party for my cousin Matt. Um, he bought a house, and so we're going to the suburbs today for a party to celebrate that. And if if you know us, you know we love dips. And Matt asked me to bring. Oh, Teddy might be waking up. Matt asked me to bring an appetizer, so we are going to look in here and find something new and delicious. We'll let you know what we choose, and then we do have to run, obviously, and get whatever ingredients we need. <coughs> this is Jamesy's new comfort show. It's Trick or Treat on Disney+. Plus. It's what stopped him from being upset about not going O-U-T. But if you also know us, you'll know that It's a Wonderful Life is our very favorite movie. And something that George and Mary do for someone in the movie is that when they move into a new home, they get them salt, bread, and wine. Um, <laughs> James just belly laughs at this. Um, salt for life to have flavor, bread so that your home never knows hunger, and wine so that joy and prosperity, I think that's it, um, will reign forever in your home. So we gotta get stuff or whatever dip we're gonna make and then pick up that stuff um, for Matt. I think it's fun whatever, you know, like person we're getting it for. Um, we kind of change whatever, like whatever spirits, maybe not always wine. Um, and like the different types of bread and things to the person. And so it'll be fun to pick out stuff specific for Matt. So that, that's where our day is starting. I have to edit. And I think we're just gonna like take it easy. Like I truly think that it'll be an easier morning um, and then a fun, a fun night. All right, this morning I'm gonna make Sarah and James some eggs. Um, I know we're trying to do some where we eat plant-based at home, um, but we needed an egg for the cornbread and some things you just can't, they just aren't the same with the substitutes to do them non, 
animal products. So we got a thing of eggs. So if we have the eggs, we should not have them go to waste. Sarah and James love scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna make James some just like maybe cheesy scrambled eggs. And I'm gonna make some salsa scrambled eggs for Sarah and myself. A nice pot of coffee. What are you doing in here? Did you come to help me? You found Nemo, you put him in the cup holder. I don't know if Sarah mentioned it, but he requested to put the new pajamas on the moment he saw them. And he also loves putting stuff in the Peloton water bottle yeah. spots. So what we would do with James is we allow him to play with any piece of this thing under our supervision, except for the resistance knob. And that's turned all the way to the right. So you couldn't even, like these don't move. The wheel doesn't move. So like out of all the pinchy spots. And that too. And that, yeah. James, no thank you. No thank you. What are you putting at? You're putting at your art? Yeah. That is your art. We have to update that. So we got some eggs, some applesauce, <gasps> and some fruit for James. He likes to tear. Oh, this is new. Sarah got salsified eggs. Are you having some? No. And Teddy's awake now. It took until after 10 a.m. But he was out late last night. He was tuckered from from his night out on the town. You want your dad to make a silly face at you? Oh. 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 Does anybody else rock a, a, a visit to your favorite grocery store with no shoes and fresh pajamas that came in the mail today on? Or is it just James? We're gonna grab a few things for our housewarming party later today and just for the weekend. So I don't know if you've ever said this, but I almost got a, my first year of college, I was in a double engineering bachelor's degree before I switched over to computer science. I always wanted to be an engineer and I didn't get my degree, but this is an engineer's mind. Look at this coolness. We're going to your store, yeah. We have quite, we kind of have more things we're getting today. So I wanted a cart, but where do I put this? Suspend that off the bottom. Loop the strap through and buckle it. Ooh, yeah. James is loving the cart, and we've also only gotten about three things we're not supposed to get, which includes that Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. Teddy, you love Bluey? I mean, not surprised. All right, so now we're gonna make some beer cheese soup. This is the beer we got. Cold beer cheese dip. I'm sorry, it's not a soup, it's a dip. Um, so we have Swiss cheese, sharp cheddar, cream cheese. The Swiss I have to shred, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Do it, do it, do it, like the zombies do. Here's the beer cheese soup. I keep saying beer cheese soup. Here's the beer cheese dip. Sarah's, I think, gonna come here in a moment with a pretzel to test it. But we're gonna transfer this big jam box into this. There's clearly gonna be some for the bricks to keep at home. All right, we've got two taste testers here. Maybe just one. Sorry for that, we had a minor meltdown. He thought I was taking his chip, I was dipping it. I mean, I did and it's take close it. to nap time, so of course that meant that uh, Sarah ruined James's life today. <laughs> Does it need more beer? I don't even drink beer, but I like. Mm. I mean, so the recipe got called for a pilsner or a dark beer. Like we could have, like there's a big difference between a pilsner and a Guinness. Yeah, but you can taste it. It's good otherwise. Like we want to get in the fridge for a little bit. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Oh, I thought Sarah was getting me a. <laughs> she said, "Do you want to try it? Gets a gets a, a pretzel crisp, chip crisp out." Dips it and goes to give it to herself. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. Bittersweet news. This is a finished product. I got it in the fridge to cool it. There's actually no leftovers. That bowl transferred into this surprisingly perfectly. Always fun when the cousins arrive to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we found our cousin Matt's piano. So we're gonna lay down some beats. We were home. I think the vlogging at the party was sporadic. 
Um, that's what happens when you're playing one-on-one -on -one defense with two kids between um, making sure Teddy was good, you know, he uh, doesn't like to sit, usually he likes to be up, and he, you know, favors me and Sarah. And James, um, you know, was a new environment. The house, I wouldn't say, is 100% child-proof, as well as, like, you know, he's at a stage where he's almost two and he likes to be in control, and, like, when we have to tell him, like, quite a few times to like, you can't touch that, that's just for looking, no thank you, that like, um, he was just, there was a, a lot of high emotions, you know, in all the different directions of emotions. So it was a, you know, energy consuming day for, for all, and then uh, to add insult to the, all that is, uh, James has got some severe diaper rash. Um, we, I tried putting a bunch of diaper cream on it when we were at the party, we could tell he was uncomfortable in the car seat driving home. And then they went to go change him when we're home. It's 1040 and he's still awake. So he's going to knock out. But um, it was so bad when we went to go change him. What would have been like a diaper change into his pajamas to go to bed. Um, it was so uncomfortable. You know, you just hate when your child is or any child is just in agonizing pain. You can't really help. So... Literally just kept him out of his diaper, run to the bathroom to go soak his bum in the tub and to make him happy to get play. But like, of course, in that moment, our water decided to take a long time to heat up. Um, but now we're in the tub. He's in the tub right now. I'm next to him right as I'm filming this. And he is happy. He's playing with some coins um, and some floating boats and other awesome, fun things. So we're going to let him play and relax and <laughs> soak his bum. Yeah. And then we're gonna get him in some pajamas and Oh look. <laughs> oh <laughs> just like Ooh. And then uh get him, get him to go to sleep. I just got splashed. But really good uh good party. It was a housewoman for cousin Matt, if we didn't say that. What do you do when your babies literally succumb to exhaustion and go to sleep really quickly? But you're also exhausted. You put on the Adventures by Disney Resort TV loop and ate the dip that you made that you brought home. Our, we have, we have, our apartment needs some T <laughs> TLC <laughs> tomorrow. But we need this TLC. Also, I realized that we didn't capture in the vlog how cute I look tonight. I feel like I haven't gotten like ready in a long time. <laughs> and I like felt like myself. Good. And we didn't even capture it on the vlog. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I love my guests. It's like kind of so silly to say, but I love the connections that we make. So we're going to devour our exhaustion in beer cheese dip. Pretzels? Food food and beer. beer cheese dip. And then we're going to go to sleep, and then I, uh, we're going to wake up, and I'm going to run away. This will be good fuel for you. 12 miles from I would say it's good to be home, and I'm still going to say it's good to be home, but Sarah and I just decided because of the timing of this weekend, it's a two-parter. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Exhausted. Totally. This dog is driving us nuts. Totally exhausted. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I forgot something exciting was happening. I'm out on my long run. We're gonna see, I'm supposed to do 12, but I think like my safety bar is 10, so we'll see if how far I get because I haven't been running long distance like that. I might do a run walk to get me to 12, but Lakeshore Drive has something really fun going on today. It's called Bike the Drive, I think that's what it's called. One side of Lakeshore Drive is shut down so people can bike it. I forgot the distance, but I think it starts all the way down by Millennium Park, so it's gotta be, you know, something like 10, 12, maybe even more miles, but Super cool, bike the drive. It looks like I've got northbound shut down. So fun. <sighs> Feels good, It's the sun's out, but I got out like earlier, so I feel like it's not like beating, beating yet. Um, I just passed Navy Pier, so you can see the Ferris wheel behind me, which means I'm gonna be coming to the river here. I'll show you that when I get there. Um, so today was supposed to be a 12 mile run. And Sarah and I were talking today and we're like, this is, I'm just getting into a block, which is not the safest and smartest thing to do, to jump into week 11 of a 17 week block training for Chicago Marathon. But um, 
I feel like I still have that, a little bit of the underlying um, aerobic base and I know how to read my body pretty well so like I can see if I can stretch it and then pull back and then stretch it and pull back. So I was only, the goal is to do 10 today. But I decided when I got out, out onto the street, I was like, you know what? You gotta practice what I preach. I always preach about just getting time on your legs. And 12 miles is just a little bit more than 20 more minutes on the feet. So I thought I'd rather than try to like do my traditional run, which some people like my buddy Steve says is ridiculous. Um, do what I did for a marathon last year, dopey weekend last year, where I did a run walk. So I've been running 75% of a mile and then like fast walking the last 25% of a mile. I'll end up walking a total of three miles if I do 12 miles, but I'm now in the 5.75 to 6 mile spot. So I'm going for 12 today because once I hit 6 miles away, I have to go home. So if I'm 6 miles away from home, that means I have to go 6 miles back. So, moral of the story. I'm playing smart and hard today. Getting my 12 miles in but doing it safely. Here's the river. There it is over there, through the cool bridge. Greatest city in the world. For the first time in a very long time, I can say I've run double digits. Just my past mile 10. Got two more to get home. Feeling good, so. Still doing run walk, but we're getting time on the legs and the miles on the feet, so that's the important part. Alright. Got James going on a walk, trying to get him to take a nap. So, so the, the intent is to have him fall asleep in the stroller. We'll transfer him to the car where hopefully he stays asleep and sleeps to the suburbs. Got my recovery sandals on. Feeling good, but yeah, I can feel it on my body. Hello everybody, we have two sleeping babies in the car. I don't think I've been in the vlog today. Peter ran a million miles just 12 and we are headed to my sister's for dinner look at this feast i got a reuben peter got fish and chips jamesy your mac and cheese baby tacos and a chicken what is this chicken pita i'm telling it what are you making i don't know what it's called cobbler. Ooh la la. You baking with Jackie? I'm tired. That's a sneaky one. What? Thunder. <gasps> Told you. I just came outside and I said it, it looks like a storm's about to roll through. I'm like, it looks like the Wizard of Oz blowing up. We didn't do much vlogging at the Sakards. Um, we were just kind of hanging out. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, we ordered food from this place called Black Oak. That was really good. Um, I think we were all just like physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted from the weekend. We we're all just kind of like hanging week, out. Yeah, trying week, trying weekend. So we're just kind of hanging out. So that's why we didn't vlog too much. But it's a two part vlog anyway, so I'm not worried about and I've walked a lot, I feel like I'm gonna run. Why do I do this, I, like with my hand? I'm about to sign off, you wanna come say our duty to our school? Do our duty to our school, name that quote. But tomorrow's Monday, I almost, uh, thought about taking it off, but I'm not gonna. No. I, what I need to do is that project, and I'm just gonna block out my homework day. Good idea, it's good to be home. It is good to be home. It's 9.30, we're going to bed. <laughs> this is our school. Oh, it's storming. Storming and dark today. And we need to play like catch up. Around our home. So we're going to make this into a 30 parter. And we're going to do lots of cleaning today. After work. My work is very busy. So, we're so glad you're here. Daily vlog. This is the middle of a vlog. Make sure you come back <laughs> every, every day and we'll post a video. Yeah. Both boys are snoozing and there wasn't a stroller nap. It was a cuddle nap, so win. Alrighty, I am hopping on the Peloton while both boys are asleep. So like we said last night, we went to bed super early and I totally embraced just 
getting good sleep, trying to feel better. Like we said, we're kind of having a weekend um, and just need to like really take care of ourselves. And so I am going to search for my very first Disney ride. I've yet to do a Disney ride. So that is what I'm going to do today to fill up my cup. I love she has parent trap music as a part of this Disney ride. I love it. Another gem. I am red. I'm just wiping the bike down. Um, I will admit, like, I really enjoyed the ride. Oh, sorry, my hand was in the was in the camera. Um, I really enjoyed it. However, I did want like more classic Disney. But Kendall, she like did like all the stuff like in my generations, like Disney Channel movies and stuff. So like if I was somebody else who didn't grow up with like High School Musical, Lizzie McGuire, um, those sorts of movies, I might have been like, what the heck? Like this was supposed to be like a Disney ride. It was. It was just like so focused on like my like my age. So I am excited to do Cody's Disney ride. A lot of people had suggested Kendall's um, and probably because of my age and because of knowing that those songs would be hits with me. Um, but I do hope that Cody's, even if there's just like a few of those thrown in, that would be great. But it was like all, all those like 90s, early 2000s movie, like Disney Channel movie songs. But let me know if it's not, if you've written it, and comment below if you have any specific Disney workouts that you think that I would like. I know I saw that if there's yoga, I saw all different kinds. Um, but yeah, comment below if you have any suggestions. <laughs> oh, Jamesy! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Both the boys had good naps, right? Right? Yeah, we had good naps today. <laughs> and so we're gonna start some laundry and dishes and have chili leftovers. Jesse! Uh, it's leftover night again, but we got some fruit, the last of the chili, some pasta and fruit for James. We're ready to. We're ready for dinner? Yeah, he just sent down all my laundry piles. I almost forgot about the last of the cornbread muffins. Nice. Oh, is it? Nice. Um, excuse me? What's he's, going on here? <laughs> he's a big kid. Alrighty, we made it on a walk. And these flowers have been freshly put in. Look how folly they look. To get your feet. All right. So since I ran my 12 miles yesterday, I'm not going to run today. But I think it's important because I'm doing a very consolidated, concentrated training block to lead us to Chicago Marathon, full marathon, um, that I get my legs and my muscles and my ligaments like warm, moving, loose, even on days that are off days for running. So I'm going to put on, I'm not going to lace up because these aren't laces. I'm going to put on the Peloton shoes and I'm going to try out one of like the scenic, like 30 minute rides or whatever, just to kind of get the, all the, the bones and everything moving in the legs so that they don't they aren't stiff when they get up tomorrow morning to go for my four mile run so that's what we're doing 9 40 at night let's go here's a shout out to joe lily thank you so much for commenting on our facebook discussion group page the photo of the toronto skyline that's a good skyline yeah it's not better than chicago no, but it is good. I really, like, I saw the picture, like, and that I is a shout-out. I appreciate the rollout of the name Joe Lily. It just rolls off your tongue. Yeah. Joe Lily. Okay. We're not going to go, but we're going to go soon. 
Yeah. And my scenic Iceland bike ride that was supposed to just like get the legs just... loosey goosey. I was just dripping. It was a workout. It was a workout. You have to listen to them. It was a workout. I was dripping sweat, so I got a workout today. Jeez. Four miles tomorrow morning? Four miles tomorrow morning. Encouragement, comments below if you appreciate it. Why? Appreciate it? Appreciate it. Um, it's Peter Kicks butt. He's training. You too. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.